Hey there, what's up? In this video, we'll talk about questions where a pure solution is added to a mixture. Pause and have a look at this question. A jar contains mixture of milk and water in ratio 3 is to 2. So we have a jar with mixture of milk and water in it in ratio 3 is to 2. Now this is initial or old ratio of milk and water. Quantity of this mixture is not given. Let's say the quantity is Q. When 10 liters of water is poured into the jar, the ratio becomes 2 is to 3. So 10 liters of water is poured into the jar and now the new ratio of milk and water is 2 is to 3. We have to find quantity of milk in the jar which we can easily find if we get the value of Q. There are two liquids being mixed. One is a mixture of milk and water. Another is pure water. As discussed in the previous video, we will proceed with one solution. Let's go with milk. In the original mixture, milk is to water is 3 is to 2. So proportion of milk is 3 upon 5. And quantity of mixture is Q. Now instead of taking milk proportion, we can also proceed by taking milk concentration, which will be 60% in the first mixture. In second solution, well, second solution is pure water. So the proportion of milk is 0. There is 0 milk, which in percentage will also be 0% only. Quantity of second solution is 10 liters. Also, Final milk water ratio after mixing is 2 upon 3. So final milk proportion or C average is 2 upon 5. Which is going which uh, going percent wise can be written as 2 upon 5 into 200. That is 40%. Now apply allegation. C1, C2, C average. Subtract crosswise. This ratio is equal to W1 is to W2 or Q is to 10. Q will come out to be 20 liters. But this is not the final answer. We want milk contained in the jar. That is initial proportion of milk into initial quantity. That will be 3 by 5 into 20. 12 liters. Now this same question can be solved by taking water instead of milk. Proportion of water in first mixture is 2 upon 5 or 40%. Second solution is pure water. So proportion of water is 1 or in percent we can say it is 100%. Concentration of water is 100%. C average will be 3 upon 5 or 60%. Take crosswise difference and equate the ratio to Q is to 10. This will give the same value of Q as before. So this was one way to go for it. An alternative method will be by using weighted average, which is kind of similar to this one. Uh, so we are escaping this method for now. We are skipping the weighted average method for now. Look at one more alternate method, an easier alternate method. For this, we have to identify the solution which is not added externally to the jar. Here, 10 liters of water is added. So milk is not added externally. Okay, milk is not extra added externally, so milk present initially in the jar will be equal to milk present finally in the jar, right? Milk present initially, well, initially the quantity of mixture is Q with proportion of milk as 3 upon 5. So milk present initially will be Q into 3 upon 5. And finally, the mixture quantity after addition of 10 liters is Q plus 10. And milk will be Q plus 10 into final milk proportion 2 upon 5. So from here, Q can be easily calculated as 20 liters. Easy, right? This equation is same equation we got when we applied allegation. So nothing new here. Okay, we are getting the same equation. Let's formulate this equation. Left hand side is Q into 3 upon 5 where Q is initial volume and 3 upon 5 is initial milk proportion or initial C value. And right hand side is final volume 
into final milk proportion. Basically, this means VI into CI is equal to VF into CF. Initial volume into initial concentration is equal to final volume into final concentration. We can use this formula to get final milk proportion CF or using concept of variation we can say uh, here proportion of a solution in a mixture is inversely proportional to its volume. Inversely proportional means when milk quantity is constant and water is added then uh, cause of addition of water volume of mixture increases and proportion of milk decreases. So steps to solve questions in which a pure solution is added to a mixture. Step 1. Identify what is not added externally. Milk in this case. In all such questions, initial milk proportion, final milk proportion, initial mixture volume and final mixture volume. Three out of these things will be given and fourth one will be asked. Okay. Ratio of initial and final milk proportion. Here initial milk proportion is 3 upon 5 and final is 2 upon 5. Ratio is 3 upon 2. So ratio of volume of mixture should be inverse of this ratio. Ratio of initial volume to final volume will be 2 upon 3. Earlier volume was Q. Finally it became Q plus 10. So either equate 2 upon 3 to Q upon Q plus 10. Or in 2 upon 3 on ratio scale 3 is 1 more than 2. In actual values Q plus 10 is 10 more than Q. So 1 on ratio scale is equivalent to 10 in real value. 2 will be equivalent to 20 liters which is the initial volume. That's one more method. All the methods that we are seeing end up giving the same equation. They are basically different ways to say the same thing. Say however you like it. Now, a little addition to this question. One extra line is added here. Now initially, uh, 10 liters of mixture is taken out and then it is replaced with water in place of mixture. 10 liters of water is added. It's a two step process now. Let's deal with step 1 when milk water ratio is 3 is to 2 and 10 liter mixture is taken out what will be the milk water ratio now in remaining solution it is going to be 3 is to 2 only as it is a uniform mixture and every part of the mixture has milk and water in 3 is to 2 ratio even the 10 liters we took out will have milk and water in ratio 3 is to 2 only even if we take out 10 more liters of mixture, the ratio will still be 3 is to 2 only. Understand it in this way. The milkman that delivers milk to your house generally mixes water to it. Okay, nobody is that honest to give you pure milk. The milkman mixes water to the milk. Okay, and mostly it is a milk water mixture only, right? Now, after delivering to, uh, let's say, two or three houses, the milk doesn't get dense. Okay. Its composition is still milk and water in same initial ratio. Right. So, step one or removal of a part of mixture brings no effect to the milk water ratio. Ratio of constituents doesn't change when mixture is removed. A part of mixture is removed. Ratio of constituents will not change. And step 2 is the same question that we have solved before. We got the answer as 20 liters, right? On adding 10 liters of mixture removed in step 1, final initial mixture will be 20 plus 10, 30 liters. Now, let's apply everything to this new question on successive replacement. Pause and go through the question. Two important things. Milk is constant, only water is added externally. And the operation is done once and then repeated twice. So in total, three times. Okay. Originally, the mixture is 80 liters and the proportion of milk is 5 upon 9. 
Look at first operation. 8 liters of mixture is taken out. 72 liters remain. And the proportion of milk is still 5 upon 9. As removal won't change the ratio. The ratio of constituents. Okay. Now we add water. And the final volume again becomes 80 liters. If you remember this formula. Proportion of milk will be 5 upon 9 into 72 upon 80. In first operation, initial volume was 72 liters. And on addition of 8 liters water, it finally becomes 80. Now in second operation, 8 liter of mixture is again removed. And this 5 upon 9 into 72 upon 80 proportion will remain intact. After addition of 8 liters of water, it becomes 5 upon 9 into 72 by 80 into 72 by 80. This proportion will become initial proportion for third operation. Okay. It will remain unchanged on removal. On replacement, one more 72 upon 80 will get multiplied. So if the same operation is done in total 100 times, we will multiply 72 upon 80 100 times into 5 upon 9 for new milk proportion. For now, this is the final milk proportion which on reducing comes out to be 81 upon 200. That means quantity of milk will be 81 upon 200 in total volume 80 liters. This gives 32.4 liters as the final answer. And milk is 81 parts out of total 200. So milk water ratio will be 81 upon 200 minus 81. That is 81 upon 119. We have got the answer, but there is one last outlook to this method that I want to discuss now. One more way to approach this problem. One last way. We will apply percentage decrease here. One last method, okay. We want final milk quantity. Initially, milk is 5 upon 9 into 80 liters, okay. Milk proportion into volume. Now, 8 liters of mixture is taken out. 8 liters out of 80. Okay, there is a decrease of 10%. 8 out of 80 is a decrease of 10% in the mixture volume. So, both milk and water quantities will go through the same 10% decrease. Now, water will again increase on replacement. But in each operation, milk will suffer a decrease of 10%. 10% decrease means a multiplying factor of 9 upon 10. So this milk quantity when decreased by 10% every time will bring a multipli multiplication factor of 9 upon 10 every time. And this process done thrice will give 32.4 liters as the answer. So that's one more way to approach such questions. This was all about successive removal and replacement. I hope you are now confident to deal with questions from this topic. If you have any feedback or any questions, any queries regarding this topic, this video, you can mail it to me at support at the rate gofuru.com. Thank you.